We should drop the disorder because your pain is not a malfunction. Your pain is a signal. Psychiatric diagnoses create the false impression of a disorder or illness that offers us no insight, no understanding. Purpose in systems that stop us from getting on with our lives. We should drop the disorder because there's no scientific evidence that psychiatric diagnoses are actual biological illnesses as we are led to believe. Psychiatric diagnosis is the first cause of everything bad that happens in the mental health system. Because if they don't diagnose you, they're not supposed to do anything to you. Our thoughts, our feelings, the responses we have to experiences in our lives, these are entirely personal. Our human condition is entirely subjective. There is absolutely no good scientific or philosophical reason to keep them. And the history of mental disorders has been a history of othering, neglect, poor outcomes, and a colossal waste of resources. The psychiatric profession works within a certain framework. That framework is the Western split mind from the body, split the individual from the environment, dualistic, reductionist medical ideology. And continues to center medical paradigms in an arena where there are other perspectives that should be given more prominence. Distracting ourselves from the huge systemic issues in society. And that tramples on essential human needs. We need to drop the disorder and pay attention to the overwhelming evidence that people are having understandable human reactions to the things that have happened to them. We need to ask not what's wrong with you, but what's happened to you, and we need to listen to people's stories. We should drop the disorder because the complexity of our lives and our pain does not fit neatly into constructed boxes. And once labelled, a person's story is so often obscured, it's hidden, and sometimes it's completely negated. A description cannot cause itself, but we're treating it as if it can. The diagnosis is a gateway into being harmed, being drugged and being locked up. And then the so-called illness becomes the story. We need to drop the disorder because... Feeling sad or anxious is not an illness. Children need to be supported, not with diagnosis and medication, but actually relational interventions that we know heals troubled minds. Emotional distress and dysregulation are natural responses to adverse life experiences. These are not medical problems. They are emotional, relational, social, political and existential and even spiritual problems. And until we can see that, we can't solve these problems. We should drop the disorder. We should drop the disorder because people need connection and understanding. Because we have so many better ways of helping people. Because the application of psychiatric diagnoses invalidates personal experience. We should drop the disorder because I've come to see that this is a soul's journey and the disease illness model does not heal at the level of the soul. The disease model's dead. Didn't pan out. It's time we do drop the disorder. We should drop the disorder because being empowered to thrive and heal so often means being able to see the humanity in our diversity, in our suffering, and in our mental distress. For all these reasons and more, we should drop the disorder. Join us as we challenge the culture of psychiatric diagnosis and the pathologizing of emotional distress at our annual online festival on September the 22nd. You can expect dynamic and passionate contributors with a diversity of experiences, but one thing they all have in common, they all believe that the disease model has failed and that there are much better ways of understanding and responding to emotional distress. We should drop the disorder. Because labels don't tell truthful stories.